Hello guys, I'm Azaran and in this video I will teach you pulse width modulation with Raspberry Pi and then I will uh, fed an LED with uh, pulse width modulation to show you how it works. So this is a complete course on uh, Raspberry Pi programming. After this course you will have learned how to build your own IoT and robotics projects using Raspberry Pi. So for this you will need a Raspberry Pi, a breadboard, an LED, uh, this is optional this is a GPIO extension board and uh, some jumper wires so first we will learn the concept of pulse width modulation so let's see so here we have uh, three types of signals uh, our first one this is the second one and this is the third one so uh, now uh, each of the signal has a time period of one means that it is repeating itself after one second right so uh, let's have a look at this signal uh, this signal is off for uh, 0 0.5 seconds and after 0 0.5 to 1 second it is on, right? So here uh, in this period of, uh, period of time it will give a value of uh, 5 volts, right? And after uh, 1 second it is again off and uh, after 1.5 second it is again on. So here this is a periodic signal it is repeating itself and mm, giving us the output of uh, 5 volts after 0 0.5 seconds for 0 0.5 seconds so now let's have a look at this signal uh, this is uh, another signal and here you can see that this signal is uh, turning on on about 0 0.8 seconds right and it is uh, on it remains turned on for 0 0.2 seconds right and this signal is again repeating itself right and after that signal we have this signal it is on for 0 0.8 seconds and it is off for 0 0.2 seconds and the total uh, signal uh, time period is one second right so this signal is on for 0 0.8 second and it's off for 0 0.2 second so now let's uh, have a look at the pulse width what is a pulse width Pulse width is the time for which the pulse is high, means that it is giving us 5 volts. So here in this signal it is giving us uh, 5 volts, means that it is, it is high for 0 0.5 seconds. Like uh, it is uh, high from 0 0.5 to 1. So it means that it is high for a time period of 0 0.5 seconds, right? And time period is the time taken by a signal, one signal. So uh, this is the time taken by one signal and it is one second. So the time period of this signal is one second, right? Let's have a look at the duty cycle. So duty cycle is the pulse width divided by time period multiplied by 100%. So here mm, this signal has a duty cycle of 50%. It means that the signal is on for 0 0.5 seconds and is off for 0 0.5 seconds. So let's uh, calculate this. Uh, uh, the pulse width is here as you can see 1 minus 0 0.5 so the pulse width is 0 0.5 right divided by the time period so the time period is 1 second so this the time period is 1 and I will multiply it by 100% right so we will get 50% right so and this way you can calculate the duty cycle uh, in this case, we have the pulse width of uh, 0 0.2, right? And we have a uh, same time period of 1 second. So the duty cycle is 20%, right? And here in this case, we have the pulse width of 0 0.8 second and the time period of 1 second. So the duty cycle is 80%. Now, uh, why do we need pulse width modulation and uh, Raspberry Pi? and raspberry pi we do not have any analog uh, output pins and we also do not have any uh, digital to analog converters so uh, how this pulse width modulation is important uh, uh, for example uh, let's consider we have a motor right we have a motor here and it has two terminals positive and negative right so uh, uh, this motor uh, has a voltage of 5 volts right and now we want to uh, run it on 0. Point, sorry 
2.5 volts right we want to run a, uh, it on half speed uh, of it total speed right so uh, how will we uh, run it on 0.5 volts uh, uh, on raspberry pi as on raspberry pi we have only uh, three set of four voltages one is a 5 volts 3.3 volts and 0 volts so how will we run it on 2.5 volts so we want to run our motor on 2.5 volts and we have only 5 volts so what will we do we will give it a pulse width modulated signal uh, like a 5 volt signal is like this this is a 5 volt signal right and this is 0 volts right so what will we do we will uh, give it a signal right the signal will be 0 for half of its time period right and it will be 5 volts for half of its uh, time period right so it is the same signal like uh, this one and what will it do uh, the it will uh, that uh, when the signal is is uh, given to the motor it will uh, be off for 0 0.5 seconds and uh, as the after 0 0.5 second the motor will turn on uh, at a voltage of 5 volts so it will rotate on its full speed right but after one second it will again turn off right the signal will continue like this right so what will it do the motor will not stop at that moment as it have energy and it will keep rotating but uh, it will reduce its speed right so and after this uh, interval of from 1 to 1.5 seconds the motor will again uh, receive a voltage of 5 volts so it will again maintain its speed right so in this way we uh, can reduce the speed of the motor and uh, the motor uh, and we will observe that the motor is running on 2.5 volts so the motor will consider the voltage to be 2.5 volts uh, because the duty cycle here is 50 percent so uh, the motor will consider the voltage to be the 50 percent of the total voltage right so the total voltage is um, 5 volts and uh, the duty cycle of the signal is 50 percent so the motor will consider the voltage to be 2.5 volts and uh, in pulse width modulation what we do we give a signal at a higher frequency like 500 hertz or uh, 1000 hertz here the signal is uh, of uh, 1 hertz J it is just to uh, give you the concept of pulse width modulation but uh, we give a signal to an analog device at a frequency higher than the at which the device responds so uh, what uh, happens that the device uh, to which we are giving the pulse width modulated signal uh, considers the voltage it, uh, the device is receiving to be the average duty cycle times the voltage so for example it is 50 percent so the voltage our total voltage is um, 5 volts and uh, the motor will receive a voltage of 5 multiplied by 50 percent right so it will be 2.5 volts right so the crux of this discussion is that we can control an analog device you know, from a digital device using the pulse width modulated signal right and uh, and this we can give a signal of for, for example here 20% uh, of if you want to give this motor a signal of 20% uh, duty cycle so it will uh, rotate at the speed of and it will be consider it 1 volt so if we give a signal this signal here 20% duty cycle the motor will consider the voltage to be 1 volts right so in practical uh, we uh, will give it a signal of 500 hertz or 1 kilohertz so that uh, the signal is faster than uh, the rate at which the device responds so we will get uh, this the situation like this so now let's have a look at the code so i have turned on my raspberry pi and this is the the remote desktop session of my raspberry pi so here this is our code i have imported the rpi.gpio module and i have also imported the time module 
I have set the pen configuration to uh, GPIO.BCM and then I have set BCM pen 4 to GPIO out right after this uh, we have made an object pwm underscore obj uh, and we have passed it uh, two arguments one is the pin number right so our pin number is four and the second argument is the frequency right so, uh, as i have said earlier that we will give it a frequency higher than at which the device responds right uh, after this we have a while loop so here um, this is uh, this line is just telling the processor that the pen 4 will give an uh, PDF PWM output right and here the actual uh, pulse width modulated signal starts at, at this line right so what is this line uh, we have called a method uh, start uh, on object the PWM underscore OBJ and here it uh, has uh, received an argument uh, which is the duty cycle so here this is the duty cycle so dot start method receives a uh, 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 argument of duty cycle right so uh, here it is a 40 percent duty cycle right and after this we have the time dot sleep so it will give a delay of 0 0.5 second and then we have another function change duty cycle and we have changed the duty cycle from 40 to 10 right and of this we have uh, another delay of one second right so we will see this uh, using uh, this code led fading so here what mm, it does is we have an led which will be connected to pin 4 and the brightness of the led will increase from 0 to 100 uh, uh, having a delay of 0 0.05 seconds so uh, here um, it uh, we have made a uh, object pwm obj and we have set the frequency to 400 and the pin is number 4 right then we have a loop and we have uh, an iterator i which is initialized with 0 and uh, and the this infinite loop we have another loop uh, which is also while loop and uh, we have set the condition that if i is less than 100 the loop will keep running right so um, uh, pwm obj dot start i what will it do it will uh, give a pulse width modulated signal of duty cycle first zero then after 0 0.05 seconds it will give it a duty cycle of one and after that it will keep uh, increasing the duty cycle by one so uh, first we will uh, do the connections here uh, I have these two jumper wires so uh, here this is the GPI uh, sorry BCM 4 pin I will connect the positive of uh, this LED so here as you can see mm, the left pin is positive so I will connect it to BCM4 and I will connect the ground pin to ground right so now um, let's uh, run our code here and as you can see the brightness is increasing and then decreasing as you can see it is not decreasing mm, gradually but it is uh, decreasing suddenly because we do not have included any uh, decreasing loop for this uh, LED to decrease its brightness right so uh, here and this way the pulse width modulation work I've, I hope that you will have liked this video if you like it so hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel so that you do not miss any video from this course and you learn how to program the Raspberry Pi. Thank you.